Brainiacs, ever wake up in the morning and just have awful breath? We're talking the kind of breath that could melt metal bars and make your friends stand a good five feet away from you. Really makes you wonder what in the world could have caused this otherworldly stench, huh? Well, you're not alone. Chronic bad breath is a real thing. And it could be a sign that you have other more serious, even deadly, conditions. Today we are finding out what's going on here. So, pinch your nose and get ready for our two scents. Sense, get it? The scientific term for someone with bad breath is halitosis. But the same way not all squares are rectangles, not all bouts of bad breath are halitosis. This term is saved for when someone has particularly smelly breath, lasting hours past when you wake up, and may even persist throughout the entire day, as well as not going away when you brush, floss, and use mouthwash. It's much more common than you think. An estimated one in four people have halitosis. So, what are the causes? As you can imagine, not keeping up with your brushing, flossing, and using mouthwash, which means twice a day brainiacs, can result in halitosis over time. Lack of oral care leaves food in your mouth, and the bacteria that makes its home on your tongue and in your saliva will continue to break it down. These natural processes will result in the release of sulfur compounds. And if you've never given sulfur a good whiff, you're lucky. It's incredibly stinky. Speaking of bacteria, the lack of brushing will cause quite a buildup of the little guys. The human mouth is home to 6 billion bacteria, where they go about their lives reproducing, eating food, and producing waste all the time. Here's the thing, while there are good bacteria that are essential to help you digest food, if you don't brush, the bad, stinky bacteria build up. For instance, bacteria like Streptococcus mutans, which erode your enamel, and over time, cause tooth decay. Which brings us to the next cause of halitosis, cavities and gum disease. As the bacteria break down your teeth, they start to create little holes known as cavities. These become the prime real estate for smelly bacteria and leftover food and can cause your breath to really stink. But what you probably didn't consider about that smelly breath is that it could be the sign of something much more sinister, even deadly. Halitosis can be a sign that you are extremely dehydrated Dehydration causes dry mouth, which means you aren't producing saliva. Contrary to what you may think, saliva actually helps with the de-stinkification of your breath. It naturally rinses your mouth, washing away food particles that may be left over from your last meal. It also keeps the good bacteria around, and they fight off the bad bacteria that cause cavities. But your stinky breath could also mean you have a nose or throat infection. Your extra mucus is the perfect food for those dreaded bad bacteria, and they thrive on eating your mucus while causing you some serious bad breath. Diabetes can also cause halitosis. When your body doesn't produce enough insulin, a condition called ketoacidosis can occur. This is when your body produces smelly ketones, which cause stench no matter how much you brush. The most serious of conditions that could be resulting in your bad breath are acid reflux, kidney disease, or even lung cancer. Acid reflux comes from food decaying in your gut, and there's plenty of stink along with it. People with kidney disease may experience a sort of fishy smell on their breath even though they didn't eat any fish. When your kidneys aren't removing toxins, the result is, you guessed it, extra smells. When it comes to lung cancer, doctors actually use halitosis as one of the indicators. So hold off on trying to gross out your friends with your bad breath, and make sure you see a doctor if it persists. But all hope is not lost, Brainiacs. Fighting off halitosis is relatively simple. Brush your teeth. And we're not talking a quick sweep of those pearly whites. We mean two minutes of brushing, floss between each tooth, and then rinse it out with mouthwash. Do this twice a day, or if you want to be really ambitious, after each meal. Speaking of clean teeth, seeing your dentist twice a year for a checkup is great for your oral hygiene. They professionally clean your teeth and get hard to reach spots that brushing can miss. They may even give you a special antibacterial agent or an antibacterial mouthwash to help you really keep things clean. Basically, if you have stinky breath, they'll know what to do. Another tool in your arsenal against bad breath is water. Staying hydrated will help you avoid dry mouth and keep a healthy amount of saliva in there to keep your teeth rinsed and clean. But our last tip may be the toughest for some of you. Quit smoking. You already know it's bad for you by its addictive nature, but it also causes dry mouth, 
has an odor of its own that you have to deal with, and it ups your chance for gum disease. So just quit, or hopefully you've never started. Looks like all hope isn't lost for all you out there with stinky morning breath. Taking that extra time out of your day for some self-care can reduce or straight up eliminate your halitosis. So keep up with the brushing, Brainiacs, and maybe lay off those spicy garlic chips as well.